Hello and welcome to WMCT Sports. I'm Matt Passaccio. We lead off with the baseball trading deadline, where around here it was much to do about nothing. The Red Sox were rumored to be involved in trades that would have landed them stars like Carlos Beltran and Chris Sale. The Sale deal would have potentially cost the Sox minor league talent such as infielder Yohan Moncada and outfielder Andrew Benintendi. Some say that that would have been too steep a price for the 27-year-old lefty that has three years left on a deal that has an average annual salary of $13 million. Sticking with the Red Sox, the highly touted Andrew Benintendi made his Major League debut on Tuesday night in the seventh inning as a pinch hitter. He grounded out to second and later struck out in the ninth. The 0 for 2 performance didn't seem to bother him on Wednesday, however, as he went 2 for 4 in his first career start. In regards to making the jump from double A to the big leagues, Benintendi said, quote, I never expected that, and later added, quote, it was a pleasant surprise and I'm extremely excited to be here. It's something I've dreamed of since I was a kid, and to finally be here, it's an unreal feeling. Let's make the trip down 495, where on Monday at Patriot Place, Kevin Falk was inducted into the Patriots Hall of Fame. With thousands of fans in attendance, and all the current Hall of Famers in place to welcome number 33 into the Hall, it was number 12 that stole the show. Brady, wearing Falk's number 33 jersey, showered the former halfback with praise and included, quote, you're an amazing person and an amazing teammate. As great a player as Kevin was, he's an even better friend. It was the first public statement by Brady post Deflategate. And Friday evening will showcase the opening ceremonies of the 27th Olympiad from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The United States will be led by flag bearer Michael Phelps, who at 31 years old will be competing in his fourth Olympic Games and is also the most decorated Olympian of all time with 22 medals, including 18 gold. Good luck to all the U.S. Olympians, and we will be sure to update you on all the performances as well as medal counts as the games progress. For local and national sports, you can find me on Twitter, at WMCT. That's it for WMCT Sports. Have a great weekend.